Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and to another episode of Flute Life with Katie Flute. I am so excited for this video today. I have this big bag here full of flutes and in this bag are all the flutes that I've ever played and I thought that it would be fun to take you guys through my flute journey and talk about which instruments I've owned along the way. So let's get started. I want to give a huge shout out to the Flute Center of New York for sponsoring this video and for providing me with these awesome flutes that you're about to hear. If you're looking for a new flute or a new piccolo or a new alto flute, any type of flute, you should check out the Flute Center. They have a huge selection of flutes for every level of player and every budget. My friends there have set up a deal for my viewers. If you use the code KTFL when shopping there, you'll get free shipping, an extended 10 day trial period, meaning that you can select up to three flutes that you wanna try. The Flute Center will send them to you for free and you can try them and keep them for 10 days. The trial is free, but if you end up wanting to purchase anything, using my code will also give you an 18 month warranty. Also my code works for sheet music. They have a huge collection of flute sheet music there and using my code with the sheet music will give you 10% off. You can find them here in New York City or at flutesforsale.com and I'll put all that information in the description box below in case you guys are interested. Okay, so first I thought that I would walk you through each flute, tell you a little bit about them, and then I would play them back to back so that you can compare and contrast them. First up, we have this Gemeinhart 2 SP. If you've watched my most expensive flute ever video, I also feature this Gemeinhart there, so you might have heard it already. When I started in fourth grade when I was 10 years old, I can't really remember exactly which flute I had. I feel like maybe at school they gave us Selmer flutes, but it's really fuzzy in my brain. But this Gemeinhart is a basic beginner student flute. It has a silver plated head joint, body, and mechanism, closed whole keys, an offset G key, and a C foot joint. So I played on my flute from the band program at school for a few years, and then after that, I think that my teacher, if I remember correctly, she got me another student flute that was from a yard sale that she found, and it actually was really nice. I think it was a buffet flute. It was really old, but we got it fixed up, and it had the same general setup as my other flute with the closed hold keys, C foot joint, etc. So I played on that flute for maybe another year. And then when I got to middle school around seventh or eighth grade, I think I was around 14, I had saved up some money from the scholarship audition that I won and some birthday money and you know, allowance here and there. I saved all that up and I bought my first like intermediate flute for myself. I was so excited. And the flute that I bought is this Yamaha. This model is called 482. I remember picking it out with my teacher Robin. She got like two other flutes for me to try and compare them with. I think one was a pearl and I can't remember what the other one was now. But we both really loved the Yamaha that I ended up with. I ended up selling it actually like I don't know how many years ago now to one of my former students. This flute has a sterling silver head joint, body and foot joint, silver plated keys, French or open hole keys, an inline G key, and a B foot joint. I can't really remember why I ended up with the inline G key, but I did down the line have like an extra extension or a little key added on to the G key so that I could reach it better. So I played on the Yamaha for several years and then I believe when I was in 11th grade, so I must have been around 17 or so, I won the use of this Haynes flute through this music foundation in my community and I was so thrilled to be able to play on this flute. So this is the Haynes model Q3 with a classic head joint. So this is a handmade flute and it has a sterling silver hand cut Haynes classic head joint with a sterling silver body and mechanism, drawn tone holes, French or open hold keys, pointed key arms, gold springs, an offset G key and a B foot joint. So after a while and with the guidance of my teacher, we talked about maybe getting a different head joint for the flute because we weren't sure if the cut of the head joint was right for me. And I ended up getting this silver Drillinger head joint. I'm actually looking to sell this head joint. So if you're interested, please let me know and I can give you more information about that. The head joint is made of sterling silver and it has a gold air reed. Because of the shape of the lip plate, it's pretty free blowing and you can get a pretty big sound. The Drellinger head joint with the Haynes body is what I played on for most of my junior and senior year of high school and it's what I made my college pre-screening tapes on and I believe that's also what I was playing for my college auditions. So then towards the end of my senior year of high school, I found out that I got into the New England Conservatory for college and my teacher at the time really thought that I should get a new flute before I started school. Also because once I graduated high school, I had 
had to give the Hanes back because it was just on a loan to me. And this is the flute that I ended up with and the flute that I play on today. It's a nine karat rose gold Miramatsu. I think I tried about 40 or 50 flutes before I found the one. It's a big process, like when you're gonna buy your flute that you think you're gonna end up with for a very long time, you wanna make sure that it's the right one. So this is a handmade custom Miramatsu flute in nine karat rose gold with a nine karat rose gold hand cut head joint, nine karat rose gold body with a sterling silver mechanism, drawn tone holes, open hole or French keys, pointed key arms, gold springs, a C-sharp trill key, a D-sharp roller, a B-foot joint, and an offset G key. Okay, so now that I've introduced all the flutes to you, I'm going to play some excerpts on each of them.
So there you have it. That's my flute journey over the years. I'm pretty content with my Miramatsu now. I'd really like to experiment with some different head joints on it. So let me know if that's something that you guys would want to see. Using a different head joint can really change the entire instrument. And it's a great way to get something different without having to upgrade to an entirely new flute. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought about these flutes and which one you liked best. Thank you guys so much for watching. And once again, a big thank you to the Flute Center of New York for making this video possible. Also feel free to go connect with with me over on Instagram at Katie Flute. I'll see you guys in my next video.